guys, Gino here from Gino the Keto the Guido Capiche. Um, how you guys doing today? Today we're going to be making, um, you guys all know Taco Bell. Um, we are going to be making crunch wraps. Um, so if you liked Taco Bell or like Taco Bell, but being on a low carb diet, you couldn't have that. Um, well, stay tuned because we are going to be making um, low carb crunch wraps. Um, we are going to be making these two ways. Uh, so stay tuned. I already have my taco meat done. Um, so I am go going to be doing it with my already brown taco meat and everything. So it's leftover taco meat because I made these before. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please um, hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free. People ask me all the time. Um, so hit that subscribe button and welcome to my YouTube family. Please also like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you could, please share this to your personal pages. Um, that would be awesome because uh, I am a relatively new channel and get the word out there get my uh, subscribers up, my viewings up. That would be awesome. So, all right guys, stay tuned and we will get right into making these crunch wraps. There's only, uh, you know, a few ingredients that are gonna, gonna, ugh, gonna go into this. Okay, one, uh, low carb tortillas. Um, and Mission makes a good one, which the smaller ones are like for tacos. They're like four net carbs uh, for the whole thing. Um, but for this, because you want it a little bigger because you need to fold and stuff like that, I have made them with the smaller ones, but I am gonna make it with the larger ones this time. Um, the Mission Tortillas, you can find them anywhere. Um, and then, which I will show you, I have those in the fridge. And then these other tortillas, actually they're carb-wise. I got these ones in Wegmans but these come in, in flavors. This one is uh, sourdough, and these are the 10 inch burrito size. Um, and they smell really good. And this one is everything bagel, and I got these at, at Wegmans. But this is seven net carbs for the whole thing. Um, hey guys, Gino back here. Um, for this, I'm gonna be making this two ways, okay? And this is what, these are the mission ones that I was telling you about for four net carbs. These are the, um, the carb balance, these are the smaller tortillas. These are better for tacos. Um, I'm gonna be using the big 10 inch ones. Um, I'm making it two ways. One way for the crunch in the wrap, one way I'm gonna be using a few of these uh, Quest Protein Chips uh, chili lime flavor. And then the other thing is I am going to be taking a cheese disc, which I just took a square piece of cheese and Voila, with a water glass, there's your perfect circle. And now I am going to uh, microwave that and get that all nice and crispy. Hey guys, Gino back here. Okay, we are gonna do, I think we're gonna do just one large one here. Um, got my taco meat in here. Now for the taco meat, for the taco meat, you are going to just make it however you make taco meat, all right? For me, I my special ingredient in doing it is I put a can of Rotel tomatoes because I like that, okay? So when I'm doing assembling these crunch wraps, I will not be putting in like diced tomato along with the lettuce. Um, normally, you know, you would do that. But for me, since I already have the tomatoes in there, I'm not going to be doing that, okay? So I'm going to start assembling these now. I have my uh, cheese disc here. Came out perfect, 30 seconds in the microwave. Like I said, do it two ways, with the chips or with the cheese uh, crisp. And it's very simple to make it the cheese crisp. But, you know, I just took a water glass, square a piece of cheese, boom, and 30 seconds in the microwave. Um, also... I made them yesterday with these, um, the Quest Protein Chips, the Chili Lime, gives it a nice little, you know, spice. Um, but 
you know, I'm going to be doing a larger one today. So I'm going to do the, maybe I, I might do this one with the cheese crisp and the chips. And I'm, I'll show you all in one. All right. Um, so let's get into this now. So got my meat here. All right. On top of the meat. I already started putting the lettuce, but normally you would put a little bit of queso. All right, um, I am gonna put some of this Velveeta that I get in this little squeezy bag. All right, that's what I put a little bit of that the lettuce. Okay. And then we are going to put the tosada cream. Sour cream. Boom. And a little bit of salsa, whatever. Hot, spicy, whatever you want. Okay. And now, my cheese crisp. Place that on that. Okay. And now, you know what? Since I was telling you about it, I'm going to do, give it that nice crunch. I'm going to put a couple of the crushed chips as well. You could do either or. Just the chips. I was gonna actually show you making two different ones, but since I'm making a big wrap, I'm just gonna show you both ways in one, okay? So we have all of our ingredients in here. Um, and actually, since this is a big wrap, you know what, we can put a little bit more stuff in it. I'll just go around. Okay. Done. And again, guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Um, please hit that subscribe button, okay? It is free, absolutely free. Um, then give me a thumbs up, that would be great. And if you could, could, please share this to your personal pages. That would be awesome. All right, we're gonna load this sucker up here. All right, that should be pretty good, okay? So now that we got all the ingredients, we are just going to kind of make like a burrito, fold it. It works a lot better if you use the bigger shells. It works a lot better if you use the bigger shells like this, as you can see. You're just gonna fold it. Like that. Hold it in tight. And then we're gonna fry this in a frying pan with a little oil, olive, avocado, whichever you like. Hey guys, Gino back here from Gino, the Keto, the Guido, Capiche. All right, I have some olive oil in this pan. Here's my crunch wrap. Seam down. Hey guys, Gino the Keto, the Guido Capiche. Got the oil in there. It's hot. It's my corn trap. Seam down. Okay. We're just gonna brown this, okay? The meat and everything is, uh, you know, warm, heated up, so we're just gonna brown this. So I'm gonna probably do in a two, three minutes aside. All right, so, all right guys, this is it, I'm making these crunch traps. Um, if you miss Taco Bell, uh, well, here you go. I mean, this is an awesome way to have something that you would you know normally have but with way less carbs um 
This is my version of a Taco Bell Crunch Wrap. Mine's like a, a Taco Bell Crunch Wrap Supreme Supreme because not only do I have the cheese disc, but I also have the um, the Quest chip. So this is um, you know Gino Eyes. This is my personal touch to this sucker. Um, and over here, like you know, normal stores. Um, getting used to my, I got a gimp owl for Christmas and it follows me around. Um, the Mission Tortillas, these are the smaller ones, but these are, these will be fine if you don't overstuff them, okay? Um, and I am actually using the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Sourdough Classic 10 inch. I also have a Everything Bagel. One, um, because I like to make some cold cut uh, wraps every, every now and again. Okay, so that's All right, as you guys can see, it's nice and golden brown. About two to three minutes per side. And that is how you do the crunch wrap. Hey guys, so here it is. Oops. We're gonna be cutting this open. All right. Hey guys, Gino back here from Gino the Keto, the Guido Capiche. This is going to be messy for this taste test. Um, I got my napkins. This is, this is really hot, so really should sit a little bit. Mm. That is definitely messy, but delicious. Sorry, I was having some technical difficulties. There was a little, uh, the video might be a little grainy. Sorry about that. Um, but, like I said, this is a little, little messy, but delicious. Um, and very simple. <laughs> Definitely, um, if you missed Taco Bell, this is this is it. That little crunch disc inside. Actually, I did both. I did the uh, cheddar and the uh, uh, so a couple of crushed chips. So, uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Subscribe, it's free. Hit the like button and share this to your personal pages. That'd be great. And. Um, I missed my Sorella, but I got my Ben over here. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you want a taste test. So, like I said, this I made a bigger one. So, I just made the one. I had leftover taco meat because I made these before. So, I just did it that way. And, um, very simple. I'll, I'll link everything below. Uh, definitely try this uh, if you miss fast food. It's, it's really good. It's simple, easy. And um, way less carbs than going to Taco Bell. Even with the larger shell, the larger shell, I believe, was a seven carbs. Um, this particular one I got in Wegmans. I don't know, you know, where you live, if there's a Wegmans there. Um, if not, the Mission brands are great. They do make a burrito size, but they're not always easy to find. Um, and it's just a little bit easier with the burrito size because... Um, it's easier to fold and stuff like that. Um, but you can do it with the smaller ones. I, 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 I've done it, so it, it can be done. So, um, you know, give this a try and, uh, let me know how you like it, um, down below in the comments. And, um, if there's anything that you want to see me do a video on, um, also, please, uh, I welcome the feedback. Put it in the comments. 
and uh, you know I will try to get that video done for you and um, you know anything that is low carb related um, and these here I'm gonna go on the side of that these are low carb dirty keto that they're, they're not clean keto if, you, if you're all about the ingredients because I'm sure there's uh, wheat and whatnot in in the tortillas um, but carb wise it you know works great um they are low carb so um, and for me you know like I was I was saying on some of my other pages I also have a Facebook group Gino the keto Guido capiche um, just like this there's a Facebook group and I also have a page on Facebook, same name. Uh, come on over, no keto police in the Facebook group. And, um, you know, I have been on this journey. I started this keto journey in 2019. Um, I started out at 277 pounds. And I am now 174 and change. Um, I've lost about 103 pounds, so it does work, guys. Um, I'm a testament to it. So, um, as with any, you know, lifestyle, meal plan, diet, uh, check with your doctors first, but um, if you need to lose weight, and um, you know, check it out, because honestly, keto has been a lifesaver for me. Keto and low carb, I'm pretty much more on the low carb side now i've lost my weight but i am i like the way i feel um and i want to keep it off so i just continue to eat this way um i did indulge on the holidays like anybody does i'm i'm you know i still live my life um but for the most part this is the way i eat all right guys so i will see you soon with my next video i'm gonna finish eating this again thanks for joining me i hope you make these please subscribe like and share i will talk to you soon this is gino the keto the guido capiche saying ciao